Hi, this is Dominic from Paphos Life and today I'm down at the Luna Park and uh, the An Atlantida restaurant at Yoroskapu Beach and we're going to have a little look at the beach well there's two beaches there, there's Yoroskapu Beach and Yoroskapu Municipal Beach but I'm going to cover them in one film as I don't know where one starts and one ends this is the little uh, beach bar they've got at the Paphos end of the sea. Now I've got to be careful here because it's gone 10 o'clock and there'll be quite a few sunbabies around and I don't want to get any close-ups of people sunbathing because of privacy issues. So uh, I'm going to do this film not as uh, just a single walkabout, partly because it's too bloody hot for that anyway, but I'll do it as a series of scenes, okay? That's the first beach bar, Atlantida. Now when I was walking up here, there was a weird longboat with lots of rowers on it in the water. I don't know if it's still around. I think they've come into shore now. You still see them over there though. I'm guessing. They must be very hot. I hope they've got a uh, sun cream on. Now at this end of the beach they're still clearing away seaweed. In fact that's exactly what they're doing right this minute. There's a digger here, so I may as well film this part. There's the lifeguard station. And they'll be loading the seaweed into the truck and taking it, God alone knows where. Every so often I see plans for it to be recycled, but apparently they have problems with that because it's very tough. It takes a long time to break down. I don't know what happens to it, but it gets taken away from the beach. I can tell you that much. Right, we're coming up to Rickos Beach Bar now. And this place is famous. It's been here longer than the beach itself by all accounts, it's gone through various incarnations. And I keep hearing reports that it's been renovated and uh, done up, but it, inside it is still a gorgeous, chaotic celebration of nature. We're going to have a little peek in a minute. It's quite low light in there, so the camera probably won't like it much, but there were some little baby chicks in there, which by law, I have to film. Let's have another look at the digger. Taking away the seaweed. So let's go and find the little chicks. Oh, the school party's arrived, so I'll try not to film that. There's also a water sprinkler system. Now the chicks might have run off with the arrival of the school kids for obvious reasons, so if we don't see them, you'll have to rely on the pictures I took earlier. My little goat's gone onto its seat. Oh, there's a peacock, a little goat. Let's zoom in on the goat first because that's very cute. I mean, what's not cute about that? Meh. Hello. I haven't got any food, I'm afraid. Way nice though. There's a peacock. He's going to display for me. We'll make that horrible noise they make. Someone's got one in a house near where we live in Polemi, because I can hear it. There's the baby goat again, because that's definitely winning the cute prize. In the absence of the baby chickens. Yeah. Hello. Right, that's enough of baby goats. This is supposed to be a film of our entire... Ah. Oh. 
I think the chicken with her little brood is under there now. So I won't disturb them, but I can just see her plumage. Alternatively, I could have just seen one of the legs of the uh, children's playground. <laughs> Good job I can edit this. Right, I'll have a quick pan round of uh, Mikos Beach Bar itself, but I won't get too close for aforementioned privacy reasons. And also the lighting. Just outside the main entrance to Rickos Beach Bar now. Which is there. And we'll go a little way up there because I can cut through the unpopulated sunbed areas. Continue our trip. Because the beach here stretches all the way up to the end there. And down this end, parking especially can get iffy, but uh, unless it's the highest of high seasons or Green Monday, uh, further up you'll e easily get places to park. But when you do park, make sure you're not in a position where you're likely to get blocked in, because that could happen otherwise. All right, I don't want in the changing room, so I can film around here, okay? We pan round because beach bar from this side and we'll plod further up the beach. There's another of those scooter hire points here, so there's nothing to stop you if you're on foot getting the sco uh, a scooter from Paphos Harbour area and coming up here on one of those. Not sure what happens if. 30 people did it, eh? where all the scooters would go. I'm sure they thought of that. Right, a little bit further up, there's uh, an outdoor gym. And I think there's some changing rooms and showers next to it as well. I'll focus on the uh, seaside here, though, rather than photograph people walk, working out. I have to say, it's a lovely day, quite warm already. So God knows what it's going to be like in August. But uh, if you are destined here, you're in for a whale of a time. I would say I'm envious, but I live here. <laughs> now these fish for rubbish are a good idea. But do spare a thought for the poor sod who has to climb into them to empty them. And there's the lifeboat sta lifeguard station just up there. And after that, I think it's Fia's restaurant, if memory serves me correctly. I'll check on the sign though. Just see a plane taking off there. <laughs> so I was just doing a dance to the lifeguard. If that's you going home, I hope you had a lovely holiday. See you soon. Yes, I was right. This is definitely Fia's restaurant. Let's have a discreet wander around its perimeter. You've got some nice, comfy sunbeds here. go and get my feet wet for a bit. Excuse me. Getting a bit warm so 
all the urge to cool that. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's good. I think I have to go for a swim when I'm done here. Oh, oh. And remember, if you like our content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel as it really does help YouTube promote us. And if you want to help us financially, then go to our pathoslife.com slash coffee page and you can either send us coffee or click on one of the affiliate links. Right, we're now at the Yoski Poo end of uh, Fear Bar. Not filming the showers for obvious reason. There's Fear Bar itself. And notice I walked over a disabled parking area. They seem to have them by all the kiosks along the beach here, which is a good idea. And later in the year, I think they'll put out a uh, strip that goes all the way to the sea where you can, it's like uh, for people in wheelchairs, they climb into this buggy thing they've got and they can be wheeled out into the sea, which is a lovely idea. Not up yet though. And when I was taken off. And the last beach bar up here, you can see is Cabana and beyond that I think I will stop filming as the seawater is calling me but it would be unfair if I stopped before I got to the final tavern. A quick pan round you see how lovely it is here One other thing, uh, a lot of people say there aren't any sandy beaches in Paphos. And already you can see where there are, even though this is technically your ski poo. Uh, over the course of the next few weeks, I'll be filming them all. So you'll be able to see what they're all like. Uh, in terms of whether you should come to this one, as opposed to, say, Sodat Beach, it all depends on where you're staying and what uh, transport you've got. If you've got a car, which you've hired, you should definitely come here. It's a no-brainer. There's plenty of places to park. Uh, otherwise, there's a bus here. It's worth noting, uh, if you come here, that at the uh, road end of the beach, uh, the road end of the beach, there's a little avenue of trees so you can walk through, but also they provide some much welcome shade. So if you fancy a trip to the beach but don't like the sun, plonk yourself under one of them. There's another gym up here too, which I'll walk up to. And as nobody appears to be on it, I can film it a bit better. someone sitting down on one of them but not working out so they won't object hopefully they're all sort of things here and to answer people's questions about these things I don't know what they're made of but they don't get too hot to touch in the sun see I'm grabbing hold of that without any burning sensation at all. Even the metal next to it's nice and cold. So they did think about that when they installed them, believe it or not. So the final beach bar we have up here is Cabana and it's quite popular. There's a few people here. I think it might also be because it's later in the day now because it takes time to wander down the beach and you have to stop to dip your feet in the water occasionally and have a drink. But uh, because of that, I've got to be a bit more careful how I film. So I'll approach stealthily from this side. You can see what the deck chairs are like there, or sunbed rather.
I think I'll do another scene from the other side rather than try and walk through filming. This is the cabana from uh, the road. And as I mentioned, the parking is a lot easier up this end and down there. It goes into the bar itself. And we come around and there's another uh, blue parking area right by the kiosk again and this weird looking contraction is a rubbish contractor compactor even and so anyone criticises them yes they have got a blue card in their window the English one, the British ones do work here right So that's Cabana. Which one you prefer is entirely up to you. Personally, I would say try them all and then draw your own conclusions. And we'll finish up with a view of the beach going up to, uh, it's actually, uh, I think it's your ski dog beach right at the end there. Not very well publicised as a dog beach, but that's what it is. That's where you can officially take your dogs. The much better one is up in uh, Paralimni, on the east of the island. I think it was called Kiparis, but I could be wrong. And that's really purpose-built for dogs. If you're at that uh, end of the island and you've got a dog with you, that's the place to go. Right, I just walk a certain, uh, small distance from Cavana so I, before I pan land on it. Gorgeous. See you in the next film. Cheers. <laughs>